This is, a, I think, a special day. A lot of days are called special, but I think for many families in Illinois, many children in Illinois, this is a really important day in our state's history. Uh, it took a lot of effort. A lot of different groups and people participated in our democracy, worked together. I think they really showed what government of the people is all about, work with uh, legislative leaders and members of the legislature to accomplish something very, very important. But I think this day really belongs to all those who participated in getting the law passed. Getting a law passed in our state or any state is really something, I think, uh, meaningful. Uh, we believe in government that where the people call the shots. The people of our state of Illinois, almost 13 million people, they are concerned about a variety of different issues. And it's important that the General Assembly and the governor react to the citizens. And when they have a special concern, something very personal that maybe affects their health or their family, uh, we have to be responsive to that. That's government at its best. So. Here we are. I also uh, want to recognize the many people, and I'm not naming you, but you know who you are. We have spent 14 years together working on trying to pass this law and other laws to make life better and fairer for adult adoptees. And we're gathered today for truly a historic moment, which is a celebration for adopted people in the state of Illinois. I am blessed to have been adopted and raised by a loving family right here. I grew up right here in the city of Chicago, but that's not really where my story began. My story began on a piece of paper that I have never been allowed to see. When Governor Quinn signs this legislation today, I, like any other person, will be able to walk into the Office of Vital Records put my $15 down on the table, and get a copy of my original birth certificate for the first time in my life. It's, it's really a dream. On it is gonna be the name of a woman who gave birth to me 53 years ago. I can hardly wait to hold that piece of paper in my hand. <laughs> To some, it may not sound like a big deal, but it is. It's a right that a lot of you who aren't adopted take for granted. There, there's a lot of people in this room who have been denied this privilege all of their lives, and restoring this right today is of seismic magnitude. It has been an honor to work on this legislation, and today is no doubt the most meaningful day in my life. But while my personal story was the catalyst to this, I did this for the thousands of my fellow adoptees who I have spoken to and worked with over the years about our shared yearning to know from where we came and who we are. And I did it for the future of those people who are going to be adopted, who will someday wish to know. Today we're opening a new chapter in adoption history in Illinois. We're turning a corner in Illinois, we can finally say that no one will be forced to live and die, always wondering about who may have been their birth mother, who may have been their birth father. We are proud to become only the 10th state in this country to have the courage, the foresight, and the declaration of love of family, no matter how that family was formed. It is a bold step today to restore this basic human right. I want you to know that um, in December I got a call from my leader, Senate President John Cullerton, and I want to thank him publicly today for giving me this extraordinary opportunity, for opening up a world that I never knew or never understood. And he said, this is going to be a lot of work. And, and it was a lot of work. But you know what? Sometimes good hard work is so, uh, it, it's so meaningful and it's so important to engage in that kind of work because at the end of the day we have a day like today. At the end of that process we have a day like today. And because of our efforts and because of the bold, strong, passionate, zealous leadership of Sarah Feigenholz and the, the courage of the General Assembly to say this is the right thing to do. I was one of the people that Sarah talked about. I, I took my family history and the ability to take that piece of paper in my hands, I took that for granted. 
And now because of this bill that will become law soon, adult adoptees throughout the state of Illinois and those born in Illinois all over the world will be able to come in to this state, get that document, and by getting that document, they will be able to fill a void of who they are, where they come from, and access that vitally important medical and family history. Two-thirds of a century since I realized I was adopted and old enough to ask honest questions. Where did I come from? What am I made of? Looking for truthful answers. I was born in a Salvation Army home and then went to an orphanage, followed by foster care and then adopted. I had a happy childhood and loving parents, but like all children, I had a child's question about my past. Later as an adult, I had adult questions about my past. But even as an adult, I could not see what my friends, neighbors, and fellow workers took for granted. I could not take for granted the simple basic right to being respected and trusted with something as personal as my birth certificate. I was made to feel shame by merely asking for it. Like many adoptees, being treated with callousness and indifference made me feel like a child of a lesser God. Accepting the past was the only way I could move on. But such knowledge must be truthful, as mystery is always greater than reality. Old age has taught me that central to life is the hard reality that only truth can make us free. Free to accept ourselves and thereby others. This is why today is so beautiful. I am truly grateful to Governor Quinn, Representative Feigenholz, and Senator Wilhelmy for having made this moment possible. After two thirds of a century of waiting, after two thirds of a century of being made to feel ashamed, after two thirds of a century of having the first chapter of my life kept from me, I can now be treated with respect like everyone else and hold my head up high before I die. <laughs> For the first time in my life, I finally feel whole and proud. As I grew up, I didn't know I was adopted until I was 17 and my mom had passed away and I found out that day. But one of the things that as I went through high school, I always told them that I was going to be the best football player I could be and the best person that I could be, the best human. But one of the things as I went on my journey through college and on through the National Football League, I had many people around me. My adoptive family was loving. My, my the loving wife, two children. So we always had huge Christmases. We always had huge holidays. The family was always there. But there was always a time during those holidays where I would say, who am I? I mean, really, you have all of these people around and you still don't know who you are because you don't know where you come from. And, and, and I'm so proud of, of today that now that I'm going to have an opportunity to really see who, what the truth is and what's on my birth certificate, I've had the honor and the privilege to meet uh, my biological family. My mom had passed, but my father was still alive. I have eight brothers and sisters, and I'm proud of the fact that I had the opportunity to meet them. So that void is now closed. So I was one of the fortunate ones that, through the help of Sarah uh, and the White Oak Foundation, to be able to find those people in my life, my own family. But for many people, they don't have that. But today, they actually are going to have that opportunity. I really think the passage of this law shows how people can work together to make something better for lots and lots of individual citizens in Illinois.